Having made countless attempts to be kind to Amber, I finally understand the expression, no good deed goes unpunished. For I now find myself roped into defending her psycho butt in traffic court. This is definitely not an attorney-client privilege. Amber, Princess Marion's approach the bench. All right, Miss Marion's, it says here that you have over 200 parking tickets. Yes, Your Honor. Congratulations, you're today's high scorer. Give me a moment to review. You said a couple of tickets. A couple of hundred. Would you listen? Jeez. I'm out of here. No! You know me and authority figures? It's bad news. A train wreck. A disaster on the scale of Melanie Griffith's college and lips. Amber, I can't help you. You have to. Come on. You've got that nice gene that skipped me. And if the judge takes away my license, you'll be the one taking me shopping and to my weekly glycolic peels. You owe it to yourself to defend me. All right, Miss Marians. How do you plead? Your Honor, if I may, I'll be speaking for the defendant since she doesn't want to incriminate herself. Whatever. Proceed. Your Honor, as a crime prevention measure, Miss Marians does not carry any cash, especially not coins. Don't they just multiply in the bottom of your purse? No. Okay. Well, that, coupled with the antiquated parking meters of Beverly Hills that don't accept credit cards... So how does that explain parking in front of a fire hydrant? What were you doing? It was an emergency. There was something I could do. It was an emergency. That was an emergency situation. An emergency. A much sought after appointment with Louis Lacari. Hair streak specialist. A hair appointment is an emergency. I think not. <laughs> Clearly, based on that crusty Madeleine Albright look you've got going. Amber? All right, princess. I'm not hearing anything that would make me excuse these tickets. Want to try the truth? The truth? You can handle the truth. Unlike you, I am a citizen of Beverly Hills and therefore entitled to special parking privileges. Especially since I pay not only taxes, but your salary, Judge Judy. I see. Well, give me a moment to consider your persuasive argument. Guilty. You will pay a fine of $2,500 and perform 100 hours of community service. Got it, boss? <clears throat> nice going, Allie McBonehead. She is literally... You'll need to drive, though. These are a road hazard. Pourquoi? Oh, okay. Picture me driving my car. Suddenly, I'm distracted by my horrible chipping nail polish. Bam! I'm roadkill. How did you even get to school? Rubber gloves. Oh, good call. Definite mall emergency. Plus, I need a pedicure and maybe a sure to. So was I, or you'd need medical attention. Reason number two, we gotta take this course. What course? Bam! Model mugging? Learn how to make faces like a model? Well, I already know how to do that. Okay, here's a model when she's hit the lottery. Here's the same model when her puppy dies. <laughs> and here's that model when she finds a pickle in her pocket. Look, I hate to break it to you, Kun Fools, but this self-defense course is for girls only. No, see, but that's the beauty of it. It's mostly for girls. But if you read the fine print, guys can join too. That's right, so it'll be just us and 50 beautiful, buffed-out classmates. Ow! Hi, gang! 
Ching, this here's little Tracy. Casey. Yeah, whatever. Uh, here's a dollar. Go buy yourself a Coke or some firecrackers or something. Thank you very much. For what? For sticking me with little orphan annoying. What are you saying? Because of the worst courtroom performance since Matthew McConaughey in A Time to Kill, I have to do 100 hours as her mentor. You have got to help this big sis get that little sis removed. Amber, if you didn't want to be a mentor, why didn't you pick another community service? Because it was either this or pick up trash on the side of the freeway. And you know it is impossible to accessorize an orange jumpsuit. Now, you have got to help me. Oh, forget it. We have other plans. Perfect. We'll come with you. No, no way. Do you really want to leave that poor, innocent little girl alone with me? An only child with the maternal instincts of Mrs. Bates. You do the crime, you pay the time. See ya. What are we going to do now? Oh, uh, your call. Either play on train tracks or run with scissors. Do you want to come to the mall? Absolutely. Come on. You can't even see the strings. See how far back she's getting one time? Hey, <laughs> Sean, check out the Baywatch money at 2 o'clock. Is that AM or PM? Yeah, right over there. Over there. <gasps> Fine choice. <laughs> hey, look at the point, Dexter. Poor little guy. I bet he's here because he gets the snot whooped out of him at school. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was that age, mm -hmm. being picked on all the time, mm -hmm. too weak to defend myself, scared of everything. Boy, I'm glad those days are over. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, reel it in, reel it in. Reel it What's in. the doughboy doing here? It's just the teacher with his protective gear on. I'm out of here. I thought you got over your focus. All but the doughboy. Are you serious? Think about it. The doughboy lives in the oven. Extreme heat can't kill him. He can turn himself into a biscuit for corn's sake. Are you pitiful? I know. I've never even tasted a crescent roll. Is this really a mall? Where's the metal detector? Bill Bondsman. This isn't a strip mall, dear. This is the Beverly Hills Mall. You are where you shop. And if you plan to be anyone, <laughs> this is the place. Wow. It's like heaven. Better. In heaven. They may take your immortal soul, but they won't take American Express. <laughs> Come on, girls. Let's burn some plastic. <laughs> Hey. Whoa, what happened to my little girl? Well, actually, she was more like your little boy. We fixed that. So, what do you think? Wow, you, you look beautiful, sweetheart. Where'd you get all the new clothes? At the Beverly Hills Mall. It's awesome. My little treat. <laughs> Dad, we've got to go there. I saw so many cool things I wanted to get. Well, you've got to go every other week to redo those streaks. Perfect excuse for a spree. Right. I'm gonna go call Darla and tell her I rode in a BMW. <laughs> the ultimate driving machine. Wow. Darla's gonna die. Thanks, Amber. <laughs> oh, here. Ah, so, 
smashing success or what? Uh, 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 you know what? Uh, the streak's a little much? I debated. It's all a little much, Amber. Look, I, I know your intentions are good. Oh my god. <laughs> I do believe that is the first time anyone has ever said that to me. Look, I'm just afraid you're setting Casey up for, well, for something I can't deliver, you know? No, I don't. <sighs> Look, it's pretty clear that you and I come from, well, different worlds, okay? And I, I just think the more that Casey's exposed to yours, the more she's gonna grow dissatisfied with hers. Look, I'm sorry, Amber, but uh, I just don't see this whole mentor thing working out. <sighs> Great idea taking Casey to the mall, Tweedledee and Tweedleshare. What happened? When you guys left, she seemed so happy. Yeah, well, apparently that's a problem for her dad. Happy Yoakum. Why? I don't know. He, he was babbling. Something about good intentions and different worlds. All I know is that now I have to spend 94 hours spearing garbage, chained to an irate Gary Coleman. <sighs> oh, this better be my masseuse. I am so upset. I called him for an emergency salt rub. Oh my god. It's from Casey's father. She's run away. <gasps> what? <sighs> she got very upset when I told her that you wouldn't be coming back. I should have warned you. People get very attached to me. These two follow me around like a couple of baby ducks. <sighs> How long has she been missing? Two hours. When I went to tuck her in, she was gone. Well, did you call the police? Yes, of course. They've got a photo. They're going up and down the block. What was she wearing? That outfit that you bought her, I guess. Well, that's good. At least she'll stand out in this neighborhood. Oh, <sighs> bad Amber. Sorry. Look, uh, I've got to go meet the cops. Okay. You do that. I have an idea of my own. Huey, Dewey, let's roll. <sighs> Okay, that was a side thrust kick with the butt strike hammer fist combination. What, do you want to try it? Ho-ho! Oh, ready, willing, and able. <laughs> Yo, Kung Fu's good. Try my style. Dismount. Someone else want to try? Sean, how about you? Mm. Uh, no, thank you. Mm. So what else are you scared of? Well, cottage cheese. Who is it? I know, like, how does it form those little curds? Bacteria. And people are lapping it up. Oh. Oh. Hey, how about spider webs? Ooh, spider spit? So were you scared of those things when you were my age? <laughs> Definitely. And you still are? This is hopeless! Wait, where are you going? Home. My parents thought that this class would help me with my fears. But then I look at you, and I see my future! I'm growing up to be a big baby man. Look, you can conquer those fears. I mean, all you have to do is face them. Like you are. Yeah. Watch. <gasps> Chuck? Yes? I'm ready. Well, all right. Bring it on, Sean. <laughs> Remember, I had a tiger, baby, OK? I had a tiger. The tiger. The tiger. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's my man! That's right! Sorry, ladies. Mall's closing. Okay, we're not here to shop. We're looking for a missing person. I see. Let me just get the proper form. Now, when did you last see him slash her? At her house in the valley. Okay, see, that's out of our jurisdiction. We only cover the mall. 
we know, but she ran away and we think she's somewhere in the mall. Somewhere? Okay, little lady, this mall is over 500,000 cubic feet of high-quality retail shopping. So you need to be a teensy-weensy bit more specific. Wait, there's Casey! Oh my god, she's looking at tacky jumpsuits! We have got to save her. Adventure and babysitting, it's officially a nightmare. Oh, Casey, we are now all trapped in a store that actually features a polyester pantsuit. I hope you're happy. Don't make her feel worse. Casey, come on, nobody's mad. We just want to help you. Are you all right? No, okay. I have no idea what it's like to be me. Did your dad ever dress you in boys' clothes because they were cheaper? Did you ever walk the wrong way home from school so that other kids didn't know where you live? Do you want to know what I got for Christmas this year? A pair of shoes that you threw away. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. Of course you didn't. You're rich. What's another pair of shoes? This is so unfair. Why did you guys get everything and I got nothing? Casey, I think I know how you feel. A while ago, my dad lost his job and pretty much everything we have. You were poor? Totally broke. You must have freaked. At first, but pretty soon I realized that money isn't everything. Hey, it's a lot. Yeah, but it can't buy you a dad who loves you. Casey, your dad is really worried about you. Not worrying enough to bring me places like this. You guys said you are where you shop. Well, I'm tired of being me, and nobody that a boy wouldn't notice if I burst into flames. I'm staying here. Casey, you don't need money for boys to notice you. Yeah, right. It's true. Okay, who's the most popular girl in your class? Chelsea Callahan. Is she rich? Not really. So why do the boys like her? I don't know, because she's fun and pretty. Casey, so are you. I am not. You are. Look, your problem is that instead of having a mom or sisters teaching you how to be a girl, you've got a style blind dad. We can fix that. He's pretty hopeless. <laughs> no, I mean, all of us can teach you how to dress like a girl. And we'll do it on a budget. Really? That would be so great. It would be even better for us. We were a little insensitive today. I think we forgot that not everyone lives like we do. Not everyone? Duh, try no one. <gasps> okay, we're all gonna be mentors. But any time that you guys spend with her, I want credit for your hours, okay? Amber, you're tired and delirious. Time to get you and Casey home. You say we go back to your place and uh, practice our horizontal leg scissors. Are you all right? Yeah, thanks to you. Uh -huh. Both of you. Uh, Amur, are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine, man. I was just confused on which move I should use to take him out with. <laughs> you know, I was stuck between the butt thrust and the double crotch hammer. So, how can I repay you? <laughs> well, ice cream? 